morning guys i'm just going to do a quick run through of a trade on the euro yen um, that has happened this morning uh, just a couple of them actually this is the uh, one of the pairs i'm using as the um, snatch uh, fur quad strategy uh, so just a quick a quick run through of exactly what's happened the black line there is my six o'clock um, six o'clock start so anything to the right of that is live data can see the blue line is my long trigger level the red line is the short trigger level uh, based off the last completed four hour bar uh, now for me it was a bearish bar so i used the low of that bar as my short trigger level and the open as my long trigger level uh, coming to the charts uh, first thing this morning uh, price was already uh, biased down to the short side and set up a short trade for me below that level um, which was 124.55 uh, including the rounding downs uh, the trade did trigger for me didn't quite hit the first um, didn't quite hit the first target for me before uh, stopping out so I was then back to looking for a new trade setup uh, started marking off the uh, previous highs and lows uh, new trade as we can see there on the blue line new trade then set up uh, above there um, the previous low that I would use for for avoiding that trade is just under that blue line there uh, which is i'll just mark it off that bar there that will be my void level for this trade so I'll just mark that up so as we can see price moves along it's not quite triggered the trade trade was up here not quite trigger the trade it's come down it's voided that trade for me so i was back to looking for new trade setups um started the process over again marking off the swing highs and lows so you can see we've got a lower low there we had a um, lower high higher low there price moved along back up towards it was in a point or two within the long trigger level there uh, and that formed the next high for me so that was the breach of a previous high, previous swing high there. And so that, I class that as a bias change. So my entry was above that bar there, that red arrow. Uh, that gave me an entry of 12500 um, 12500 dead on actually. Um, which was it was the same level as this previous trade that had voided. Um, so it, it wasn't any better or worse of an entry for me. Uh, so it was 12500 the entry for me. Uh, we can see price uh, keeps moving through uh, so obviously 12500 is there price has triggered now so the lowest point of that um, retracement after the pattern had been identified was this red line so that's my stop level that was at 125.80 for me at uh, 124.80 sorry with the rounding down so it was a nice tight spread it was a nice uh, tight 20 point spread uh, as i go through the charts we can see price continues to go up first target for me was 125.15 uh, that's 10 percent of my daily atr uh, for the intraday trades so as con price continues to go up uh, we can see that it's triggered the first target so i move my stop to 50 percent for the intraday portion so that's 124.90 for the remaining two parts of the intraday trade uh, carry on going through the charts see price has um, just stayed pretty much where it is to the point where we're at now this is a live price it's 125.15 back to first target area um, so I've got the three parts of the swing trade still on with the original stop of 24.80 and the last two parts of my intraday trade have been managed to a 50% stop loss uh, which is 124.90 so that's where the euro yen stands for me at the moment um one uh, one trade that hasn't quite worked out for me short that stopped me out um another long entry that voided and the second one that actually uh triggered for me which is the one i've just been through uh so it's now it's only 20 past nine um gmt at morning time so i'll see what the rest of the morning uh brings with this trade see if it uh, goes it would be nice to go up and trigger the, the remaining uh, intraday targets and we'll see what the afternoon brings uh, so thanks for watching uh, my video again guys any comments uh, or advice uh, feel free to leave them in the comments box or you can uh, message me if you don't want to leave any um, public comments 
I uh, welcome all comments, constructive um, advice. It's all it's all there to to help me and hopefully help help others that are uh, reading the comments and watching the video. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching. Uh, have a good morning.